I'm gonna showcase you guys a full-fledged splite OTK versus five negates. I said that right. Five negates, and we OTK them. You guys have to stay tuned for the end of this video. If this is your first time here, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Also, check out the beautiful playmats on tripgaming.com. We have the Splite playmat back in stock, so get yours now. Pure Element playmat may be coming soon. Maybe if you watch the entire video. So hope you enjoy the video, and let's get straight into it. I fast-forwarded this duel. Don't worry about dueling book. You guys need to see this. I don't care if you think dueling book is ugly. I don't care if you think you're ugly, because you're not. Just kidding, you honestly most likely are actually extremely ugly, but uh, that's all right, because guess what? Everyone was once ugly. I was once ugly, and now I still am. So let's continue with this video and enjoy this Yu-Gi-Oh greatness. And I'm kidding, I'm not ugly, I'm beautiful, just like pendulums and just like yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the best card in Splite that no one is playing that you need to play. I know you guys are excited, you got something even more exciting. You guys wanna hear some game? That's almost as fun as Yu-Gi-Oh! Rain Shadow Legend! Absolutely top tier graphics! Ready to defeat the enemies! That's Gallic! That's my favorite character! Many different champions! You utilize your champions and you defeat all the bosses! All the bosses! Hey, look at that! You think this Minotaur is gonna chance against you? That Minotaur? I love this Minotaur the most! Okay, it's the only creature uglier than Thunder Duelists. There is no greater time to sign up to Raid Shadow Legends than right now. Use the QR code or the link in the description. All new players get a free starter pack worth almost $30 and special champion, Tayrell. So make sure to sign up. You can check out the awesome Death Knight upgrade with everyone's favorite champion, Legendary Champion. Make sure to scan the QR code right now. Use the link. And I'll see you guys there. Great Shadow Legends. Click the link over there. Take your picture, phone. Get that game. Get that game going, baby. Let's go. Look at this board. I fast forwarded this scenario against Despia, where my opponent has Guardian Chimera in the field, and he's going to Guardian Chimera. He already used the effect. He popped. He drew. He popped my Swap Frog. And in this game state, he still has Mirror Jade available. He still has Despia Dramaturge. And he has Ash Blossom and a potential Imperm with incredible follow up. And he's going to have an Albion as well as a other one coming out. So that's a plus five follow up. I need to win now or I lose. So I need to OTK him. Anyone that watches De uh, that plays Sprite knows for a fact you cannot kill the opponent. It's very tough to break boards. Look, three monsters with 3,000 attack. If I don't Zeus, which is just not going to happen with Mirror Jade on the field, I can't win. So I'm actually going to not just Zeus him. I'm going to OTK him. And I'm not even going to use Splite Elf. And I'm not even going to use Gigantic Sprite. So keep that in mind. I'm not even going to use Gigantic Sprite or Gigantic Elf. And I'm going to OTK his ass. So in this scenario, I start off with normal Gale Dogra. All right, so my opponent knows instantly. If Gale Dogra hits the field, I'm, he's cooked. He's cooked. How am I going to OTK this field without Splite Elf and without Gigantic Splite? This is going to truly blow your guys' mind. So he's going to go Mirror Jade here and banish the Gale Dogger. He does not want me to go plus a billion. Good move from him. So next move, I'm going to summon a Ron and Toad to special my splites. He's going to negate that with Ash. And I'm like, that's fine. I'm going to bring out Dark over here. Dark is going to special a random Dark in his graveyard. And now here, I'm going to go into Selene. At this point, he's going to negate the Selene, knowing the access code will come. I still need to kill him. And he still has Branded opening in the graveyard. So even with access code, it's going to be really, really tough. So here, I'm going to go Sprite Jet. And Axe Cook only popped twice. One monster. I go into Digusto Phoenix. Now, nobody plays Digusto Phoenix. Nobody plays Digusto Phoenix. This card is just not that crazy. I did not use Gigantic Splite or Splite Elf. So I wanted to prove a point here. That I do not need any of those cards to OTK. Everyone knows those are the best cards in this deck, right? No, the best cards are the, what literally would have... Well, of course, they're the best cards. But I don't need them to win. There's so many ways to win in this deck that no one utilizes. So why not just combine them together? Use Elf and Gigantic Splite and cards I'm about to show you. So in this scenario, I'm going to bring out, I'm going to use the effect. I'm going to use Ron and Toad, bring out Access Code. Access Code can only pop two times. I did not Elf. I just have Dark and I have Selene. So I'm going to, I could pop twice. Uh, so I'm going to pop Guardian Chimera. He'll protect once. So this is the scenario I've set up right now. Uh, Access Code could attack a Mirror Jade. Uh, that's going to be 2300 damage. And uh, then I still need to do 5,700 damage. Digust of Phoenix only does 3,000. How am I going to out this? I'm not going to use Elf. Does anyone see this play right now? I have no Toads left. How am I going to do this? How am I going to kill him? How am I going to do this? Well, guys, if this is going to blow your mind right now, you guys need to buy a Triple Gaming Playmat because uh, that's where all my big brain comes from. This card is going to blow your guys' mind and why you guys need to play the whole video, save for this one moment. Here it goes. 
Here it goes. I'm going to enter the battle phase now. To play around Valor. I'm going to enter the battle phase. And I'm going to win. I ult I'm OTKing him this turn. How do you guys see it? I'm going to activate Sprite Starter here. The special. Sprite Pixies! <laughs> Literally the best Sprite card that nobody uses. It's better than Sprite Red. It's better than Sprite Carrot. It's not better than Blue and Jet. I'm saying it's the best Sprite card no one uses. And in conjunction with Augusto Phoenix, it's just broken. So I'm going to OTK him right now. He can, he can do nothing. So what I'm going to do to play around Imperm, I don't know if he's Imperm, I'm just a fucking genius, amazing player. So I'm going to attack one of his monsters first, okay? So access code could, uh, because it'll lose its attack. So I attack for 2300, okay? Now I'm going to use Sprite Pixie's effect on Digusto Phoenix, which could attack twice uh, in the damage calculation. So what this does is when I attack a monster, so I'm going to attack Mirror Jade here. So Mirror Jade has 3000 attack points, which means Digusto Phoenix gains 3000 attack. So Digusto Phoenix can now attack twice for 4500. So it attacks once on the Mirror Jade, but on the second attack, it still gains that, that that boost. It still gains that same attack boost. So he's now at 4,200, and my Digusto Phoenix can attack directly per game. He cannot imperm, because if he imp Digusto Phoenix effect already resolved. If he imperm my Digusto Phoenix, it doesn't matter. The effect already resolved, it could already attack twice. Same reason, like, it's just beautiful. GG. GG. I OTK'd that shit. Fast, like, rewind the video and check how the, on God's green earth, was Steven J. Trifonoski, the greatest player in Yu-Gi-Oh! history ever since Yugi Moto and Seto Kaiba had a baby. Uh, just kidding, because that baby was Steven Trifonoski and killed him. I OTK'd him. Where's Sp no Spy Elf, no gigantic Spite. I opened an average hand. No talents, no nothing. I played around Imperm. I played around Ash Blossom. I played around Mirror Jade. I played around Dramaturge. I played around Guardian Chimera. Five interruptions, and I OTK'd this Despio player. I OTK'd him so bad that look what's next. He didn't even play game two. You're too good. GG has left the duel. This is game one. I whooped him so bad. Shout out my boy Jox S. That he had to leave the game of dueling book. He's probably playing Master Duel now because I destroyed him so badly. Why? Because Sprite Pixies and Augusto Phoenix is absolutely mandatory. Let's go. This is the deck list, the same deck list I showed in my yesterday video. This deck is just absolutely broken. Like, I don't even know how to say it more often. Like, uh, I cut the talents here. As you see, I, I, I added the I, tr I added a dupe frog instead of a third talents. The reason I'm adding a dupe frog is not because of dupe frog's effect. I don't care for dupe frog's effect. Uh, it's just because I want as many frogs as possible. As you guys witnessed there, being able to go Digusto Phoenix allows you to detach a card. Or if you go Gigantic Splite to detach a card, this makes it so the more frogs you have, the more follow-up you have. I do not care for Dupe Frog's effect. And uh, I showed this list in the uh, later in my past video. I also added a pointer of the Red Lotus to the side deck and Digusto Phoenix in the extra deck. A combination of this is just it's just absolutely broken. Like uh, what what Splite Pixies and Digusto Phoenix offer is an OTK in this deck. So if your opponent, let's say they have access code in the field or they like like in that scenario, or they had a 3000 attack monster in the field in that scenario, you make it so Pixies and Digusto Phoenix is an, FD, is an OTK. It makes it so Gigantic Sprite by itself is an OTK, which is what this deck is missing. So if you go Gigantic Sprite, the special blue, the special jet to get Pixies, and then the blue and the jet go into Digusto Phoenix and you enter the battle phase and your opponent has a 3000 attack monster, well, Digusto Phoenix turned into 4500 attack. So 4500 attack, uh, attack once, kill at 1500, attack 45 direct at 6000, and the splite will most likely have a link 2 under the graveyard because you'll go elf or dark, and then you won't make the splite on top, so it's 3200, and that's uh, 10,000 damage just by one gigantic sprite, or by one elf, or by one dark. It makes so any two monsters in your entire deck equals 10,000 damage. So, is that not what this deck is missing? Like, if you play this deck by yourself, you understand that this deck does have a tough time clearing boards. It, it's you will be delusional if you do not see that issue with this deck. So why would you not want to set up a scenario where 10,000 damage just by one card, by one elf, by one dark, by one gigantic sprite, it's just an OTK on its own. And to be able to still have access to access code with the brave cards, because it's so easy to do with spellcasters that you're playing, it's just broken. So in fact, this also almost makes me want to remove Dark Ruler from my deck because I know OTK is now a possibility every single time I go second. So I will actually look into removing Dark Ruler. It's just too damn good. To, to not play this format so i'm still gonna keep it hand traps are not necessary otk your opponent into oblivion hope you guys enjoyed this video if this blew your mind make sure to get a trip gaming playmat down in the description below because that's the only reason i developed these plays so i'm a genius baby and so are you guys for getting the best mats in the game i love you guys pen best deck and let me just show you guys one quick thing
So I've, I've been lifting, so I've been uh, very proud of myself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it blows your mind as much as I did. Sprite Pixies and Digusto Phoenix need to be in your deck, and I'm going to win YCS Brazil with it and prove it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash, subscribe, and smash the like button. See you guys in the next video. Peace!